Hi, welcome back to the channel. Let's continue our part two of the Camry buy-in guide. This time we're gonna be talking about the post facelift model, so 2010 and 2011. Not much have changed from the 2007, 2009 for the 2010 to 2011. The four cylinder engine has changed, so hopefully that fixes the problem. We'll talk about that in a second. And there's slight visual modifications, you can hardly tell. Different bumper, different headlights, LED tail lights, which is a great thing because it'll never burn like the old one. I'm not gonna go in sections this time. I'll link to my previous video. Most of the problems are the same. Most of the electrical problems are the same. The body problems are the same. Um, the chassis problems are similar. The only thing about the chassis I'll mention is the struts are worse, not better, they're worse. For some reason it seems to, I don't know if they change the manufacturing process, whatever the case may be, they're worse. So if you're worried about that, I'd stick with the previous one. So I'm gonna focus this video on the four cylinder engine. Now, the, four, the new four cylinder engine is a two ARFE which is a 2.5 liter four cylinder, loads of technology, dual VVTi, all the, there's like a giant article about the technology, how a marvel of engineering it is and this and that. So the four cylinder model has a new engine. It's vastly improved, better gas mileage, better power, better driving experience. Now the, the four cylinder Camry also has a six speed transmission, which is bulletproof, and has zero issues. However, it does have the sealed transmission. So again, the owner's manual will tell you, change, don't ever change that fluid. Please change it every 60,000. You won't have any issues with that transmission otherwise. Have the dealer do it. There's no dipstick. It's a really an intricate process. It's not worth say, the dealership doesn't charge a lot of money to change it. It's every 60,000. I would have the dealership do it. Now going back to the four cylinder engine, it has some issues, you know, it's supposed to be improved, but unfortunately, as the miles rack up on this engine, we have had some severe, again, oil consumption. Not good, not good at all. They're really bad, and in fact, they're worse than the previous ones. Now, there's a lot of theories out there. Now, with this engine, they switched to 10,000 mile oil changes, problem is people always go over their oil change by a little bit so now you're already going 10,000 now you're going 11 12 13,000 over time that just takes a toll oil gums up inside the engine and you're gonna have all kinds of problems with oil consumption however and I'm gonna post some pictures to this this time it is not a simple repair it is not the old repair was pistons and rings and it was covered by Toyota and most of them are fixed. This time it's not covered. There's no extra warranty on it. And unfortunately, most of the ones we've had to do, we had to replace the whole cylinder block. That is a very expensive part. It, it drives the repair estimate way past what the car is worth. And at that point, you buy a used engine for the car to put it to save some some money guess what the new engine comes with the same problem so I would in all honestly I would avoid four-cylinder Camrys of this year these years unless you bought it from a known person change their oil every 5,000 and the car is running good not burning oil and it's someone you trust I'd go with a V6 the V6 engine has been vastly improved. The oil leaks are a lot less. The coolant leaks are a lot less. Everything seems to be vastly improved in the V6. Another thing on the four cylinder is the AC compressor. Now, this is the time where Toyota went with a more efficient AC compressor. It's a lot more advanced technology. It doesn't come on all the time. It's a variable orifice tech compressor. However, this compressor, just like anything else, has its life. It's not as common, but it's very expensive to, to replace. And then you're driving a car that burns oil 
has no AC and it's like, yeah, is this even worth it? I'd rather stick with a 2009 that's been fixed or a 2011 that has a V6. It's a nicer car, nicer engine, not really a big difference in the gas mileage, believe it or not. Now, if you're watching this video and you already own a 2010 to 2011 Camry with a four cylinder, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. However, let's, let's not focus on the bad news here. Let's focus on what you can do to help your car's case, help your engine's case not burn oil. Well, the first thing is, if it's already burning oil, I'm sorry, it's, it's probably too late by now. However, if it's not, Here's what you can do to prevent it from doing that. First, change your oil more frequently. 10,000 miles, way too long for this engine. Change it between three and 5,000 miles, use quality oil, and quality oil in my book is Toyota bottle oil from the dealership. It's not expensive, it's not worth it. Buy the right oil for the car. Buy an original filter for the car. It's $5, people. It's not worth it. Don't buy some aftermarket filter that's unknown and now you have all kinds of problems. If you have an aftermarket filter that's a good brand, go for it. I'm not recommending anything because I only use OEM filters. So, it's up to you. It's your call. Second thing you can do is don't drive at short distances. You know, I've seen cars that have high miles, don't burn oil, low miles, burn oil. Those short trips that you never let the engine warm up to its operating temperature, that's what kills those engines. They don't like it. The oil doesn't have enough time to warm up and clean up and do what it's supposed to do. And you drive it five minutes here, five minutes there, it never warms up. And now it's, you're accelerating that oil consumption problem. Let the car warm up, especially in the winter. You gotta let it warm up. Well, thank you for watching this video today. I hope you liked it. I hope it has some good information. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. You're welcome to email me at thecarcarenow at gmail.com. I'll be personally responding and helping you guys out. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing and, and liking the video. Support my channel. And we'll see you guys in the next Camry video. And whatever car you end up buying, may the Lord bless you and guide you.